I can buy my dad his groceries for him now on Amazon on Whole Foods and get it delivered to his door like that day. Oh, that's awesome. It's so cool. That's awesome. Yeah, like he, he can send me a list of his stuff. I just order it. It gets delivered and like within five hours from my ordering it, he's got what he needs in New York. You don't think your dad could do it? No. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Stephanie. Or David S. Pumpkins. David S. Pumpkins, yes. And I'm, I'm Rick. And we are on to episode thrice of Made in Heaven. This episode is yep. called It's Never Too Late to Cheat on Your Spa. I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> It's that called, wouldn't have surprised me. <laughs> it's never too late. Uh, and uh, people on Patreon have gotten upset with us. They're like, guys, we get it. You don't like people cheating. <laughs> I think they just want us to like just expect it and then appreciate the show for what it is, not... <laughs> no? You don't, you don't want to? No. Well, I think because, the show is no, good. Because you know why? Because... What? theater in all of its forms whether it be movie theater or television shows is storytelling and stories have morals to them and so the moral to the story is don't cheat don't betray people but the, this story it's is tell it well I, I, technically the 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 rule the uh, moral of the story might be that in the show it's just they go through the uh, the 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 process of doing what they <laughs> the moral is uh, not Wait, wait. What? Uh, hold on. I'm. You know what I'm. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> I do. Anyways, okay. I'm. I'm prepared for this episode. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I think it's. I think it's been a really good series so far. I'm enjoying it, it a lot. It is a good show. Um, and I, I appreciate what Zoe is doing because it's very brave to make a show where not one person is like the one that you can attach to outside of jazz currently of uh, being a, right. a really good person the, all of them are just really really great characters which is which is a right. v super interesting thing to do I feel like um, the cameraman he's a good character as well. the cameraman yeah oh I feel like we're gonna figure out some stuff about the cameraman um, I feel like Probably. the guy that keeps commentating oh also yeah. the the girl uh, that we were like, who? Where is she from? She Sh Shafali Shah's daughter in Delhi crimes. Um, so, Got it. so uh, just yep. so we can figure it that. Any TV Anyways, if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, just to let you know, I can only use five minutes of very cut up footage from each episode. Um, doesn't mean the ep reaction is going to be five minutes, but I can only use five minutes of picture in picture. So, if you don't like to see cut up reactions, head over to Patreon. We got the full uncut reactions all on Patreon. Uh, so, hello to you, stupid yes. Patreon babies. We love you. Uh, dogs, stop fighting, please. All right, you ready? Yep. Uh, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, once again, I don't have to count. Look at those trees cheating on each other. <laughs> I'm okay, this really is cute. sorry about your father. Don't get used to it. And if you want to find me, I'll be here till about 5 oh. p.m. <laughs> I feel like y'all are getting too attached. <laughs> Join Chatterjee. Oh, Aw, this is too cute. Yeah. Have you not watched the first two episodes? <laughs> like... and they could be in love. Hey, Y'all are naive. <laughs> this is like assuming somebody in Game of Thrones that you like won't die. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't Zoya. That was somebody that else. Wasn't, no, it wasn't. Correct. Damn. You're not serious, sir. She's the bride. It has to be a deal for favorite things. Get my kids to attend. No. No. Marrying him. That's not really our business. And with all due respect, it's not yours either. Excuse me? I'm sorry he didn't mean that. 
I know this may have come as a shock to you, but they are so happy. Support her. Everybody will. She's too old, and it's embarrassing. <coughs> no, that's rude. She can just see him privately if she wants, right? It's super Straight interesting in though, because before we had the parents um, dictating what the kids do. Now we have the kids trying to dictate what the parents do. It's all done. Should we really go through with this? I don't know how difficult this has been to wrangle. I mean, you always say I never spend the night. I know. Your family must be thrilled, huh? Wait till you meet him. You will be shocked. Oh, yeah? Why? Because he's marrying me. Oh, God. Is it him? Govind! Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Good. Come. Oh, I, did. Oh, I thought I, I thought he was going to be a gay person but I didn't know he was going to be that gay person <laughs> Someone to your past and uh, uh, excuse me I'll, I'll be right back huh? Just... okay sit fuck off wow Oh God! Oh God. <laughs> See me tonight. Okay. Call me. What? No! Oh my gosh! No moral compass. You are lying to Dara. Thank you. You are deceiving your best friend, and you're being inauthentic with yourself. It has to. Her first wedding. How oh, my first that? wedding? <laughs> <laughs> okay. She your favorite character, Jeff? Yeah. So you've been trying well, for a while. He's stopping you. <laughs> Timetable. Yes, the Kama Sutra timetable. I'm hmm. familiar. It was all over the girls of Kama Sutra, remember that? That's true. That's how we learned about it. Come on, get out. Please don't tell her. The bar might be low, but we're getting a moral compass, Rick. Woo! Side note, I've liked all her outfits. Yeah. <laughs> Great wardrobe. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> She's dressed really well in this show. Doesn't this feel right to you? <laughs> Clearly not. She's crying. <laughs> meet anyone at this stage of my life. She's adorable. I Just wait. I agree. I did. Serial murderer. I oh, 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 read the room. Oh, Jack. That's, that's barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm gay. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do yoga. I'm going to do yoga. Stop it! I'm going to do yoga. Do you favor Karan? Yeah, of course. Anything. Name it. Don't tell anyone. We are sometimes lucky to stumble on a moment that is perfect. Mm. A minute where life is just right and magic exists. Mm. However crazy your families are, in the end, they are all that matter. See? You're my escape. Hopefully a world according you know, to Garth moment is about to happen. Place. You're like my little stolen moment. <laughs> is this, am I a pride parade? Fuck. <laughs> Told you. 
I was thinking that they were like you were saying they were might gonna die, but now they're gonna have to explain why they were both hurt oh. in an accident together. Exactly, exactly. I was hoping it was gonna be a world according to Gart moment. Do you know what I'm referring to when I say that? No. What? Do you? Oh, there's a there's a scene the world according to Garp where somebody is going down on somebody else in a car and they get hit from behind and the person bites off their <laughs> manhood. Oh. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so they're going to have to explain that, which will be fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my favorite episode so far, episode three. I enjoyed that one. We actually had kind of a happy ending there at the end. Uh, I was... I, I was I was shocked that uh, we didn't find anything suspicious out about the lovely older couple. Nope, they were. Just and we had some people actually like challenged by their moral reprehensibility. Mm-hmm. A lot, actually. I think most that had that stuff was challenged, and that like obviously the our main lead, and uh, she's not really. At, she's going to be going through some stuff, obviously, coming up here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no. Um, our lead, our lead actress. Um, oh, oh. I forget her name. I mean, the one who's getting cheated on um, um, by the Kulki and the the other. I should know their all their names. I should have their IMDb's built up here. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought it was a really great episode. What y'all think? I like that there was actually love. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Were, they were a great couple. They were clearly in love and um i was very uh oh uh, -oh. uh um, what's your name? i was very moved by her children actually coming i teared up a little bit i'm not gonna lie it's the mom in me i think um but i very much enjoyed this episode yeah yeah, this is my favorite episode so far as well. And I, I um, you know, for any of you bothered by our um, being bothered by the moral reprehensibility, <laughs> the, only, the only reason it bothers us is because this is so well done. If we didn't care about these human beings and the consequences for their actions, like if I wouldn't believe these people were really in these circumstances, I wouldn't be invested. The fact that it bothers me so much is evidence that they've gotten me invested in these people in these stories yeah yeah um yeah sorry sorry <laughs> leland whom is supposed to be dead asleep right now uh he's, a, he's, a, he's awake he's awake and he shouldn't be right now so that's weird <laughs> um but yeah i i liked it i liked it a lot i liked uh jazz i like her character a lot i like the cameraman a lot I think they're. I don't know if they're gonna end up being in a relationship, but they have good chemistry together. I like the character yeah, development. I, I like the character development of our main guy too. Um, mm -hmm. Of basically. Um, finding. I don't know if he's gonna find. I mean, obviously, he lives a certain way. He he. He, he lives his life and he doesn't want to be tied down to anybody and he's just gonna he's probably I'm guessing dealing with some stuff and that's why he likes to kind of sleep around and just uh, get a, get a, a new guy every night or every or whenever he, he, he wants wants a little sex um, and I don't think that's gonna change but like um, all the other stuff where he was kind of like more willing to like investigate this person or 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 possibly sleep with this person that was possibly marrying his best friend uh so he's getting a little bit more of a comp more of a moral compass uh which is uh, yeah. nice to see so you know one of the things this will help you stupid babies understand where we're coming from in terms of the surprises we have and the assessments we make of certain things like an example when the girl said we need it to be a bit ornate and they said we'll do gold because the rationale was they're going to think we didn't spend enough money that whole idea of needing to do a wedding a certain way for other people 
like what are the Joneses gonna say if we don't do this is so completely foreign to my entire world my whole life like growing up weddings were always about the couple and what they wanted and if they wanted a full-blown regalia high-level service or they just wanted to go all open Vegas or they wanted to go do it at the beach whatever it was gonna be the only thing that mattered was what does the couple want and I've had a daughter get married and the only thing that mattered was what does Ashley and Harrell want yeah. I don't care what other people think. I don't care if they think I spent so much money. I don't care if they like what we're doing. What matters to me is the only thing that matters is the couple. And that's been every wedding I've ever been around and every person I've ever known. Yeah, same. Uh, but it's it's great to see it's how all these different me. different Indian weddings take place and, and the different dynamics. Like this one was child dynamics, mm -hmm. thinking about what people say. And the previous ones was parents, what will people say? It's all about what people will say. And so it's, but it's super interesting. And we've already kind of known this because we've been in the Indian world for the past few years now. But it's, it's, it's cool to see the different weddings and very, very beautiful. So I love that. My favorite episode. Looking forward to the next one. I was just going to say one last thing. Vicky pointed this out. One of the huge differences that makes it that way is um, it's it's the, what they said here in this at the end. It said the families. Yeah. It, it's it's not it's in India whether you think it's good, bad, or indifferent. Marriages aren't just about the couple. It's about the families. Yeah. And that's one of the big differences of. I mean that happens here, but it's not. I mean it's like a foregone conclusion. There's no escaping the prevalence of the importance of what the families are going to say, do, and feel. Yeah. Well, yep. and on that note, on to the next episode!